we all live in a very complex world, also for policymakers, and they need tools to be able to navigate this and to act quickly. So the policy toolkit contains the tools that we've come up with within the Inherit project. Um, first and foremost is the Inherit model, um, which brings together all the different concepts that, we, concepts that we've been looking at, um, namely the environment, health, equity, um, behavior change, and it enables them to, to test out, to think about what kind of uh, policies or approaches might work that really address the triple win um, and, and get people to behave in different ways. Another tool that the policy toolkit uh, points to are the four future, positive future scenarios that we came up with in Inherit. And these have proved very useful tools in terms of getting people to think out of the box um, and to work together more towards these common visions and how they might be able to do that. And then finally, we point also to the database of good practice um, because this contains 100, over 100 um, good examples of how to achieve the triple win that uh, might inspire them to also take uh, to, to develop policies that can um, support such actions. The policy toolkit contains 10 recommendations. Um, four of these recommendations are around the four areas that we've been looking at within Inherit uh, in the areas of living, moving, consuming, um, namely a recommendation to really focus on it, uh, providing more quality green space, um, particularly in poorer areas where this might not be available and is most needed. Um, there's the recommendation around active travel um, and again, really um, enabling people, encouraging and enabling people to travel, uh, to engage in active travel. Well, that's easy to say, but if the infrastructure isn't there, it's very hard for people to do. There's a recommendation around food, uh, the sustainable consumption and production of, uh, of healthy foods. Our policies around this have been oriented so much around sufficient food, but haven't necessarily looked at the quality of food and how it's being produced. And just look at the obesity crisis and uh, the fact that we produce and consume too much, much more meat actually that we need. And this has real implications for the environment let alone um, animal welfare. Um, but, uh, and then finally, a recommendation on, around energy efficient housing, um, because uh, even if we, for example, um, do invest in um, making houses, sealing houses, making them warm, that might not be the best uh, inherit. Some inherit studies have shown that's not necessarily best for uh, health. So you need a balance between different kinds of policies to really ensure that thermal conditions are best for health. Six other um, of the policy recommendations really address the cross-cutting themes that have been kept bubbling up through uh, the work that we did um, in the 15 case studies that we did or in the, um, the future scenario work and the consultations with citizens that we conducted after that or the household survey also um, and in the policy roundtables. And these have to do with themes like um, the need for integrated action, the need for more communication, uh, community engagement, but really inclusive community engagement, um, the need for education and training, the need to really specific, focus much more on the area of behavior as a specific um, uh, area that also policymakers need to focus on. What do they want to change? How can they change behavior?